AP automation is an important topic for many leaders in finance and accounting. The task of capturing and processing invoices can be time consuming and error prone. In this short video, we'll look at how Dynamics 365 Finance can automate this process end to end and provide touchless invoice management. My name is Henrik Marx Larsen, and I've spent the last 25 years working with Dynamics 365 Finance and Operations and its predecessors. Today, I'm a senior technology specialist at Microsoft, and I'm advising clients on the latest uh, business application technologies. In this video, we'll explore four topics. In the first topic, I'll discuss what AP automation in Dynamics 365 means and the key features of the solution. Then we'll take a quick look at the ideal process flow. The feature needs to be configured to work, so we'll explore the various configuration part. And then lastly, I'll perform an end-to-end -end demonstration from invoice capture to invoice posting. Strictly speaking, invoice capture is not part of the AP automation solution in Dynamics 365 Finance, but a separate solution that captures and ingests invoices. But we'll use it in this demonstration to ingest our invoice example. The cornerstone of AP automation uh, and the feature in Dynamics 365 Finance is the ability to automatically submit invoices to the approval workflow once they have been imported. In addition, it is possible to automate three-way matching as a validation step before the invoice is submitted for approval. This way we can ensure that the invoice matches the purchase order and product receipt before the approver is asked uh, to approve. This step is optional. The AP clerk is able to query the workflow history for an invoice through a simplified view making it a lot easier to quickly know where the invoice is in the process. If for some reason an invoice fails and needs correction by the AP clerk, it is possible to resume invoice processing without having to recall the invoice. And then lastly, uh, the whole feature comes with a predefined analytical workspace with uh, multiple Power BI visualizations of a number of relevant metrics. The AP automation process starts with an invoice is ingested through the AP automation API. If an invoice relates to a purchase order, it can automatically be matched to the purchase order and product receipt as the first step. If the invoice matches the product receipt and the purchase order, it is automatically uh, submitted to the approval workflow. The invoice approval workflow is configurable and can go through one or more review and approval steps. Once the invoice has been approved, it is automatically posted by the workflow. AP automation is driven by two background jobs. One job drives the automated matching, while the other submits the invoice automatically to the approval workflow. The jobs can be configured to run with hourly or daily intervals. Invoices are not automatically submitted to the workflow until the parameter has been switched on in the accounts payable parameters. Automatic three-way matching must also be switched on explicitly. In addition, you must decide on the number of retries. The system will retry matching the invoice to the product receipt until the maximum retries has been reached. In our example, an invoice must be approved by the head of department where the cost will be attributed. For this, we're using the expenditure reviewers function. This allows us to use the department dimension on the invoice to direct the approval action to the head of department.
This is the configuration of the workflow we'll be using in our example. As you can see, first the invoice is sent for approval. Once the invoice is approved, it will be posted automatically. The approval policy is using the participant assignment type. As participant, we're using the department expenditure reviewer policy that we defined earlier. This means that the workflow will look up the owner of the department dimension value and assign the approval work item to that person. We have now concluded the configuration part, and it's time to meet the personas we'll use for our demonstration. Inga is the purchasing agent responsible for purchasing goods and services for Contoso. In this demonstration, she is responsible for ordering the goods needed by Julia. Alicia is the AP clerk responsible for day-to-day -day invoice management. She ensures that the invoices are being submitted and processed. Lastly, Julia is the marketing manager the invoice we'll be processing in this demonstration relates to her department and will be directed to her for approval. Julia is in need of a new laptop. She raises a purchase requisition for the new laptop. Inga reviews the purchase requisition and creates a purchase order for Acme Office Supplies. As you can see from the purchase order, one piece of the product 1000 which is a Surface laptop, has been ordered. Julia gets notified that her new laptop has arrived. On the packing slip from the supplier, she can see the purchase order number. Julia finds the purchase order and confirms receipt by registering a product receipt. An invoice is sent from Acme Office Supplies to the Contoso vendor invoice mailbox. The invoice is automatically picked up by the invoice capture solution for Dynamics 365 Finance. The system automatically reads the invoice and since the read quality meets the defined confidence score threshold, the invoice is automatically sent to Dynamics 365 Finance and will appear in the pending invoices form. As you can see, the system has automatically picked up the purchase order from the invoice. In this screen, Alicia can follow the pending invoices imported from invoice capture. In this example, she looks up the invoice we processed earlier and can see that it has been automatically matched to the purchase order and the product receipt. Once the invoice has been matched, it automatically gets submitted to the approval workflow. When Alicia clicks on the View Automation History button in the ribbon, she can see the simplified workflow history. Alicia can also open the invoice details form and review the invoice data and image in a side-by-side -side view, making it easy to correct data on the invoice record if required. Julia gets a notification in Microsoft Teams, letting her know that an invoice is ready for approval. The integration between Dynamics 365 Finance and Microsoft Teams is achieved through Power Automate. All workflows in Dynamics 365 Finance automatically get linked to a business event. A Power Automate flow can capture the business event, in this case a workflow approval item, and leverage its capabilities to interact through Microsoft Teams. Notice there's a link attached to the approval request. Clicking this link brings us straight to the invoice record in Dynamics 365 Finance. When Julia clicks on the link attached to the approval request, she gets immediate access to the invoice in Dynamics 365 Finance and can see the image side by side with the image record data. Subject to security, Julia can make any necessary corrections. Once Julia has reviewed the invoice, she can either approve or reject the invoice directly from Teams. When the invoice is approved, 
it automatically gets posted by the workflow. The automated invoice flow is now completed. And as you can see, the entire end-to-end -end process can be automated. I would like to emphasize that the same flow can be applied to non-purchase order invoices. Before I conclude this short introduction to AP automation with Dynamics 365 Finance, I would like to draw your attention to the associated analytical workspace. This workspace provides a wealth of information ranging from data on invoice quantity and quality to workflow performance. For more information on AP automation with Dynamics 365 Finance, please use this link. Thank you for viewing this video.